Welcome back everyone to another Fallout 76 mission walkthrough. Today we're going to talk about a daily mission called the Heart of the Anime and it starts right here at the Brotherhood of Steel headquarters. Patch, you need to do the Brotherhood of Steel train quest in order to access the fourth floor and pick up this daily mission. So if you, have, if you haven't done the Recruitment Blues, which is the mission that you get an ID card to access all the levels, then you need to do it. If you don't know how to get it or do it, then please check our walkthroughs and you will soon learn how to do the missions you need to access this one. If you have already completed Recruitment Blues, then you can head to Fort Defiance and proceed to the elevators either at the beginning when you enter the building, which is right here, you need to click the button to open the door and beware of the scorch and goals and bugs, whatever it's inside. But it's totally up to you. You can either take the shortcut, which is right here, or you can take the long way, which is basically going forward and up as much as you can and you will eventually reach the other elevator and crafting benches. If you decide to take this path, then that means you will get more experience and more loot because there are usually enemies across the path and there are plenty of rooms to check and loot and you can easily scrap it when you reach the benches so again remember the way is always forward and up whenever you have the chance just go ahead and do it otherwise you risk getting lost and losing time trying to figure out the path to take in order to reach your destination so you can find the elevator just ahead in these next doors and the benches are also to the right in the elevator you have to go to the fourth floor it's the last one and now you need to head to the big room with no doors there is generally a power suit inside and a terminal as well it's to your left side it's very easy to spot it's the second door here and then you access the terminal and click the first option that will automatically trigger the daily mission you can also explore the other uh, options these three entries are about the mission so if you enjoy lore and information about the game and the things you're doing then I advise you to actually take a look at it then you proceed to the room across the um, level just in front and you read this document this letter which has updates for the mission you will receive an update and then we have to go to a new location it's at Voltec University and we need to find an automated terminal now my approach to this part was to enter from the side door it's this one right here And it's quite simple to get to the mission point if you enter from this door. All you have to do is go a bit forward and enter this second door here. It's a small lab and you need to access the terminal to start. First enter the passcode which we already got from the letter and then execute automated test. And the terminal will tell you that it's not possible to do it. Because first you need to divert the power to uh, execute the test. There is also a little bit of floor in here, but it's not relevant to the mission at all. And you can head uh, downstairs, which is where the power supply is. There is a bench in this room if you need to scrap anything. Otherwise, you can just go ahead and find your way down, which is right to this side. 
there is two doors. This is the power room, and as you can see, the mission icon is just below us. You need to access this terminal. It's a skill zero to hack, and it should be pretty easy to find the password. And then allocate power to automated research lab. Once it's done, you will receive a new mission update and you can head back upstairs. Don't worry, the way is pretty easy. You just have to go up, then to the right and go across the doors you just came in. And then here and the lab is right in this room. Access the terminal again and now you can request the test after you add or input your password. And now there is a new goal which is to retrieve the DNA from a scorched beast at this location at the south of the map. This means that you have to kill a scorched beast. Now, when you approach this area, you will see a Scorched Beast, at least in my case, and the Scorched Beast will land. So it was very easy for me to kill it, because I'm a melee uh, player, I have a melee build, so once it lands I can just snatch it to a very low HP. If it doesn't land for you, just keep hitting it. Um, there were also some robots around which helped me killing the Scorch Beast and divert the attention. As you can see, it was not hitting me all the time. Also, keep in mind that there are Scorch in the area and they might attack you or prevent you from doing the moves you want towards the Scorch Beast. You should bring some um, healing, steam packs preferably, because sometimes these fights are quite long and your HP will eventually go down while you wait the Scorch Beast to either land for you to take it down easily or while you kill it with your fire guns. So make sure to kill all the enemies around, if you don't want to die of course. And then all you have to do is to go close to the Scorched Beast body and retrieve the DNA. It's not an item, it's just uh, you have to click your active key, for me it's space. But before I had to kill all the robots and all the Scorch and so on. But when you're done you can just go back to the body because it doesn't really disappear. It stays there, especially if it has loot. And then all you have to do is get close and click space if that's your active key to harvest the DNA. Once you do this, you will receive a new update, which is to go back to the Voltec University to conduct a new test. So this mission is a bit expensive when it comes to calves because you have to teleport to opposite sides of the map. But it is how it is. So head back to the lab in this room and add the DNA to this machine here, to the left side. And then you can check the terminal. Add your password as usual and execute a new test. The test will be completed and that's it, your mission will be done. However, the rewards are not that satisfying. 
I read that there is a chance to get a legendary weapon. And in my case, I did not get it, but I got a pretty decent weapon. The damage is quite good, even though it's for level 35. When it comes to cap rewards, I was very disappointed because I spent over 100 caps to do this. And in return, I got 25, as you could see. Also, here is the weapon, so you can see what I got. But the rewards are random, so it means every time you do this, you will get different things. Especially the weapon. So that's going to be all for me for now. I am Marta Branku, thanks for watching. I hope this video was useful to you in any way. If so, don't forget to subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye!